immediately on hearing of the bombing, there was quite a bit of anger within the community. But it was controlled anger. And the overriding view of most people is in this community is not to do anything that would make the situation any worse. And certainly not to do anything that would exacerbate the grief that the victims and their families are going through at this moment in time. A common sense is prevailing that the loyalist paramilitary groupings who I would be close to are saying very clearly that they don't want to be drawn into the conflict, which would be the hopes of the people who planted this bomb. They certainly don't want to do anything to exacerbate the situation also and cause further grief to anyone. So I'm very uh, hopeful that the loyalist ceasefire from the UFS point of view will remain intact. Well, the situation is bad at the moment. Uh, certainly there is a ceasefire in place and those who I would be close to, the Ulster Volunteer Force and Red Hand, have not said their ceasefire is over. But it, it is becoming evident to me that they are less and less interested in, in political analysis. They are not likely to give consideration to the potential of prison releases. They are determined, they say, to make up their own mind, to make their own decisions, which means that people like myself and the Progressive Unionist Party are losing influence. And I'm not so sure that that's a particularly good situation.